My name is Rashina Green. I'm the Education Content Manager for Charlotte Tilbury in North America. I am so thrilled to have you on our YouTube Live today because it is my favorite holiday season, Halloween, and we are going to create a mermaid magic and show you all the amazing holiday products that Charlotte has to create this gorgeous sort of hashtag mermaid core look. I have my partner in crime in the chat, Richard. He is going to be answering a lot of your questions in there, so feel free to ask away. He'll also be, uh, be providing links to products that I am sharing. So this is a fully shoppable event. If you are loving what you're seeing, click those links. It'll take you to charlottetilbury.com. You can add products to your basket and still have me on another little section chatting about the rest of our products. I am going live from sunny Southern California and I see some of you already know the drill. Where are you all joining from? I see people, hello in Poland, Italy, Germany. Hello everybody. I see France, Virginia, New York. Hello all my friends. Super excited to have you all here. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in, but let me tell you what I've already prepped my skin with. So I have already used Charlotte's amazing, amazing lineup of iconic and award-winning skincare. So I already have my magic cream on, um, I have my magic serum, and I'm also using our beautiful skin foundation. So that's what gives me that sort of medium coverage, gorgeous glowing skin. Obviously I love her, I'm almost out, time to restock. And if you are almost out of yours, you should also do so. And now we're going to go ahead and jump in to the full look. So again, this is all about how to create that gorgeous Halloween mermaid look. Click those links as you see them. So when I think of mermaids, I think of that wet, dewy, glowy, glass-like skin. And I already have a nice glow, but I really want to have a megawatt glow. So I'm going to start with Charlotte's Hollywood Flawless Filter. She's back. I know that this product could not be kept in stores. It was always sold out online. Well, we've got her back and it comes in 12 different shades. I'm using shade 4.5. This is actually one of Charlotte's favorite shades because before we had um, color extensions, she used to mix shades three and five. And now we have extensions and 4.5 is 3.5, three and five mixed together. So what's great about this is you can wear it four different ways. You can wear it under your makeup like a primer. You can mix it with your foundation to give it sort of that lit from within glow. You can do it on top of your foundation like I've done, or you could wear it by itself for that kind of sexy hot yoga glow, that sort of naturally dewy, soft, perfected glow. So as you can see, I didn't put it all over except for the high planes of my face just to give me that dewiness where the light hits. Do you see that reflective glow that I get? So love, love, love this product. You can always do a shade that matches your skin. You can go a little lighter. Sometimes I use a darker one to contour. But what I'm gonna do today to contour is I'm gonna be using Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. And let me tell you, I really love to use her because I'm almost out, you guys. I need to get a new Beautiful Skin Foundation. She's almost out. A new beautiful skin bronzer. She's almost out because obviously I love Charlotte products. You can see because I use them. So I'm using the beautiful skin bronzing brush and I'm just going to tap this in here and I'm going to give myself some warmth around the perimeter of my face. So I know we're going for that mermaid core look. She's underwater, but sometimes she likes to lay on the sand and tan on the beach. So I have a little bit of warmth as well, or at least that's the story I'm selling. <laughs> so I love that I can use this brush to really just sort of paint along my cheeks, down my neck, and also along my forehead too. So if you ever feel like when you're out in the sun, you tend to get more color here because the forehead is really what the sun hits before anything else. You can also put them on the high planes of the face if you want sort of that sun-kissed bronzy glow, just like so. So I love that this gives me more structure to my face so it's not a flat surface. I don't wanna look like an egg. I wanna have a little bit of structure, brontour, you can call it. And I'm using the shade number two medium in the Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. Now, the mermaid look, like I said, is really nice and dewy and glowing and hydrated. However, I don't wanna look sweaty. 
So I am going to be using Charlotte's Airbrush Flawless Finish. She's got a little belly button. She's wearing a crop top for summer. <laughs> and I'm going to use this just to bring down a little bit of shine in my T-zone area and underneath my eye so that my concealer doesn't crease. I want to have a little bit of shine still in the cheek area. So I'm not going to mattify that too much, but just a little bit right through the center. And I love, love, love Airbrush Flawless Finish because even though it's mattifying, it's still hydrating. It's infused with rose wax and almond oil. So I'm still going to have a slight glow to the skin. It's still going to look like me, but perfected and not too matte or cakey or dry. So you see that? I'm going to put a little bit here because I can do a little more matte here. Love that. <laughs> All right. Oh, hello in Greece. Hello, everybody. Oh, in Toledo, Ohio. Hello. All right. So I feel like eyes are always just really the star of the show. So I'm going to get right in and I'm going to be using Charlotte's brand new holiday palette, exclusive limited edition beauty verse palette. First of all, let's take a moment and appreciate how gorgeous this packaging is with this beautiful starburst, the little stars, the embossed glitter that's in there underneath layered. So stunning. But even more stunning is the colors inside. So we have nine different shades. We have about four different matte shades, some frost shades and some glittery shades. You can use these wet or dry. And this is really what Charlotte calls a palette of trends. So we have, you know, our digital lilac, which has been, you know, super amazing. We have our cyber silver, which people are obsessed with. You can create so many different looks and trends from strawberry girl to, you know, like a cyber girl look, whatever you want. So today the trend is mermaid core, and we're going to create a really beautiful, glittery, sparkly, ethereal mermaid look using this palette. So first up, I'm going to go in with my blender brush from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm going to create just a little bit of dimension and depth in the crease of my eye using the second shade here, which is kind of like a medium tone brown. So always when you're doing your shadow, put your chin up and look into your mirror. So this way you don't have to close your eyes. Back and forth, back and forth, like a windscreen wiper. And I also like to bring it a little up and out. Charlotte calls this her youth boosting eye shape. So you can go past your brow if you want to. Never go too high, like still leave a little bit of space between your eyebrow, but definitely put it in your crease and don't be afraid to go up, just not all the way up. I have a little bit more of a hooded eye. So if I were to just stay in the very crease of my eye, when I look like this, it looks like I have no eyeshadow on. Do you see that? So with, as a person with more of a hooded eye, I want to put it in my crease, but I also want to just start blending upwards. So I'm starting in the crease. Blending upwards, but not all the way to the brow. So now when I have my eye open, you're able to see the color payoff. So be mindful of that. Everybody has different eye shapes. Some people have super flat and smooth and shallow eyes. So you can almost, and, and no, you know, predominant crease. So you can actually create the illusion of the crease by creating this sort of rainbow shape. And then again, blending upwards and outwards. All right. I want to know in the chat, what are you all planning on dressing up as for Halloween? Is everybody on this call going to be a mermaid or are you going to be something scary like a skeleton? Do you celebrate Halloween in your country? Let me know in the chat. So now that I have this base color on, I'm going to go in. I really love this digital lilac shade. So I'm going to pack this on to my lid and you can see the color payoff instantly. So Charlotte's motto is easy to use, easy to choose, and easy to gift. So this palette is perfect because easy to use, you're using your finger, you can have zero skills whatsoever in makeup. And all you have to do is just pack this on right along and you can blend it upwards. I've already got my base color, so I don't have to worry about you know, it blending together because I'm just kind of layering it just like so. Then I'm thinking of, I kind of want to elongate it. So I'm going to go in with my smudger brush from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to pack this on the edge and just give it a little bit of length as well. I find that with the brush, it's not as much color payoff. So I actually do prefer to use the finger 
wherever possible. Just like so. Let's do it to the other side. Ah, Christina, you've got the palette and you already love it. What's one of your favorite shades in here? Do you love the digital lilac? I do really love the silver too, the cyber silver. I'm just repeating the same steps to the other eye. And I feel like I really want this to have a megawatt shine. So I think I might add a little bit of the cyber silver actually as well. But I'm getting this mermaid vibe. Like, I don't know, maybe I live under the sea. I'm using some bioluminescence to create some colors on the eye, crushing up some seashells maybe, putting it on my face. I don't know. It's fantasy, right? So you can do whatever you would like. I'm going to go in with, again, my smudger brush, and I'm going to line the bottom of my eye with a little bit of this sparkle, just in the inside corner. You know, I might use my pinky. Let's see. Do I want a lot of color here? Ooh, I kind of like that. Do you guys like this, a little inside corner? I'm discovering this with you guys. I was thinking, mermaid look, what is that going to be? And it could be whatever you want. I feel like for sure mermaids would wear color. They're not going to be wearing neutrals or smoky eyes necessarily. I feel like they would be doing a lot of color payoff. I really like how that looks. I don't know about you guys. Um, oh, I'm glad you like this palette. It's so nice, right? Okay. So cyber silver, I feel like this is going to really elevate this look. Let's go close. Let's put a little bit right in the center here. I have a very special eyeliner I'm going to be using today. Ooh, I like how that gives it sort of like electrifies it. Are these electric eel eyes maybe? It's all tied into the mermaid look. Okay. So this is kind of giving it that halo look. So I have a little bit of that cyber or the purple on the outside and the cyber silver in the middle. Let's put a little bit of the silver on the bottom too. You guys, there's no rules. There's no rules in makeup. Do what you want. So I have the purple on the inside corner. Let's put a little bit of the silver right in the middle and kind of smudge it. I'm into it. I like it if you guys like it. Okay. Again, smudge your brush just a little bit in the middle. Okay. Let's park it here. I want to put a little bit of eyeliner on and I'm going to be using the Hollywood Exaggerized Duo Liner. It has two sides, a black side and sort of a champagne shimmer side. I like the champagne shimmer side. Um, you can put a little bit in the corner here, which I already have the other purple, the cyber or the uh, digital lilac. But if I want to give myself a little more shimmer, like so, I can. Cool. So now let's add the black. But the surprise liner that I'm going to be using in just a moment, which is still in stock, you can get yours now if you haven't yet. This is the Pillow Talk Crystal Dimension Eyeliner. And it is a liquid eyeliner. I'm going to give you a little taste of what this looks like. Look at how pretty this is. It's sort of multi-dimensional. It's kind of a pink shimmery, um, multifaceted look, but I kind of want to layer it. I feel like it pops more when it's on top of something a little bit darker. So I'm going to use the Hollywood Exaggerized Duo Liner, the black end, to create a liner on the top. And I'll tell you what, I typically just do a corner liner but I'm going to do a full top liner today, which is a treat because I rarely do the full top, but it's Halloween. Let's go ahead and throw it on there. Let's give it a little bit of a wing. I feel like a feline flick is very seductive and it's very Charlotte, of course. And look at how it just elongates my eye. Instantly, it's like twice the size. I have small eyes. I also have close set eyes. Like they're very, very, very close together. The gap, oops, the gap in between them is very, very small. And so if I want to make my eye look a little bit longer or bigger or not as close set, that is why I give myself a pretty aggressive wing. Because now it makes my eyes look a little bit further apart, like so. 
And you can make this wing if you have a hooded eye like I do. You can do a little bit of a bat wing, which when I look down, it looks like a little wing, but when I look forward, it looks like a proper uh, feline for like. Make sure that you have a sharpener handy when using a pencil. Look at that wing, really got out of hand, didn't it? <laughs> it's always good to have a sharpener because sometimes your pencil will get a little bit dull and if you want to have that really crisp wing, it's good to have it be sharp because that will do half the battle for you. That might be a little longer than I want. All right, let's see what's going on in the chat. We love the palette. Um, ooh, we have tons of lip glosses. It depends on which one you want. The one that I'm gonna be using today is the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath. I love the collagen lip baths because they help stimulate collagen. It gives you a little bit of a fuller pout. I like them because they're creamy, not sticky. They have a mustard seed extract, which gives it that like nice plumpness to the lip. It's also coconut oil based, which I love because I actually used to just use coconut oil on my lips, but I love that I now have a lip gloss that's going to give me that hydration. That coconut oil by itself would do too, you know? All right. And the color is nice too, because it's just a soft pillow top pink but it's not going to really like change the look of your um, lipsticks or lip liner underneath. All right, we're almost done with this eyeliner. And trust me, if I had more time, I would sit here and really perfect this, but alas, we have only 30 minutes and a few minutes left. So this is not my great vision eye. I'm going to tiptoe to the inside corner, hoping that this looks like the other side. Praying that it does. Let's see. They are not the same. <laughs> They're not close, but let's fix it. Listen, we're we're regular people like all of you out there. Yes, we're professional makeup artists, but sometimes, you know, it takes a, a second to perfect something, get it going right. But what's great about this is at the end of the day, this is not a permanent marker. This is not a tattoo. If you mess up, you can just fix it. But again, I'm making this a little bit thicker because we're going to introduce that Pillow Talk liquid liner in just a second here. All right, we're going to roll with this. We can fix it a little later, but let's move right along. I wanted to, again, show you that Pillow Talk Crystal Dimension liquid liner. Let's see, what do we have going on here? You can totally go to a store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try on a lot of these products. Uh, oh, it's your son's birthday on Halloween. That's so amazing. <gasps> yes. And you know what? This is a look that if you're taking your son trick-or-treating and you want just like a really cute and easy costume, grab some Charlotte Tilbury products, make yourself a mermaid. So I'm going to go close so you guys can see this crystal dimension liner on top of the black liner. And I'm not going to fully cover the black liner, but I just wanted to use it as almost a base or a guide. I love this liner because I can see pink in it. I feel like I can see a little gold. I could see a little green almost in it. Yeah, once I put the mascara on too, this is going to look... We're going to see. Maybe I cover the whole block. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Haven't decided. Oh, my goodness. This eye is the hard eye. Okay. So I'm putting my liquid liner on. You want to put tons of mascara on. If you have lashes, that definitely will make the look look really amazing, too. What's cool about this liquid liner that I'm going to actually show you is um, when we first launched this, you can also put this in like the crease of your eye if you want to do like a really cool geometric look. Check this out. Like I know, if, I don't know if you can see that up close, but if you want to have that sort of luminescent shine, I almost created like a little rainbow in the crease of my eye. Let's try to recreate that evenly on the other side. This liner looks nuts. Wait till I have, wait till I put on uh, some black mascara. There's no rules. Listen, do whatever you want, however you like it. It's Halloween. Anything goes. Just have fun with it. 
I want to put, mm, I think I'm good with this now. Let's put some mascara on before I just get out of hand with this look. And I'm, of course, using Charlotte's Pillow Talk Push-Up Lash Mascara. Um, let's see. Do these colors suit any skin tones? Yes. Are you talking about the palette? The Beautyverse palette is perfect for all skin tones. If you uh, just saw the Hollywood video that played before I came on screen, we had such a diverse group of models, including Kate Moss. We also had Jordan Dunn on there. So whether you have super fair skin, medium skin, rich chocolatey skin, whatever color, this Beauty Burst palette is gorgeous on absolutely everybody. The crystal liner that I just use is also beautiful on all skin tones. It actually reads really beautifully on, on, a, on like a deeper skin tone too, but anybody can use it. Very pigmented, so there's a lot of color payoff. That's like the most important thing when it comes to being like very diverse in shades. See, the mascara really makes a difference. All right, let's pack this on. So the Pillow Talk Push-Up Lash Mascara, if you don't know, this is um, Charlotte's really famous mascara for 24-hour vertical lift. If you do not have a lash curler, do not fret. This will lift your lashes to basically your eyebrows <laughs> if you really, you know, packed it on. And it's got two flat sides, two little paddles to paint the product on, and then two bristle sides to comb it through and separate. So love, love, love this mascara. It's fade resistant, flake resistant, humidity resistant, not waterproof, but that's okay. You're not planning on crying this Halloween. You're going to get your candies and you're going to feel good about everything. Let's put a little bit on the bottom here. And then we're going to move on to cheekies. I might add a little bit more to the eyes, we'll see, we'll see where we're going. I don't know if I like love the top here. I feel like I kind of want to cover all of the black liner, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm a mermaid, listen, this is going underwater, swimming out into the Pacific. Okay, so I've got my mascara on. Let's do a little bit of a lip. So <laughs> I actually really like to do what they call like wine stain lips. This is Pillow Talk Medium. And I really like to just kind of put it on and blur it. I don't know if this is going to be the best color for this eye. But I like to just kind of like put it on and over smudge it. Like do you ever drink, <laughs> call it juice mouth maybe? I pack it on and over smudge it just to kind of give it a very soft diffused look. Very popular and sort of like, you know, um, I see a lot of K-pop stars do this. Bring it down, bring it up. And it kind of gives you this very sweetheart, sort of juicy mouth, wine stained lips. And then earlier someone was asking about lip gloss. This is the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath that I was saying. I like to put a little bit just in the center. You can over gloss it on the top. And it just gives you this really cute, almost like animated, puffy lips. Like Charlotte loves that sweetheart lips. It's a little bit fuller in the center, not so wide. So this gives you very much that look. And now really, I feel like a lot of this look is going to be in the cheek. So I'm going to be starting off with Charlotte's Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pink Gasm. So uh, this was an iconic, fast seller, sold out globally. You want to twist it to unlock it. See that? Twist it to unlock it squeeze a little bit out onto the sponge there and then make sure to twist it to lock it again. And I'm going to place this a little bit higher because I, I don't know, you know what? I'm a mermaid. So I want to put a little on my nose too. There's no rules. We don't know what mermaids look like. So they might be wearing their makeup like this. This could be literally the look, the signature look of all mermaids everywhere. And we started it here at Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just painting this a little bit higher on the face, around the eye. So think about making kind of like a C shape right here. I'm using Charlotte's Hollywood Complexion Brush, two sides here, and I'm just stippling this on like so. I'm getting all of that gorgeous glow and that gorgeous shine. I love, love, love these Beauty Light Wands. They're so easy to use. You can blend it with a brush. You can do your hands. You can use a sponge if you want to. It lasts all day. The shine is megawatt. You can literally see this glow from the sun. 
And then let's not forget the nose. I've just flipped over the brush and I'm using the tip here, giving me a little bit of that gorgeous glow. I feel like this is that trend again, the strawberry girl look. So here's that gorgeous glow, but we're not going to end there because we want to add more shine. So now I'm going to be using the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in the shade Spotlight. Brand new. Ooh. So twist it again to unlock. Twist to unlock. You even see the word on and it also says off. So twist to unlock. Squeeze it until you see it. There's a little bit on the tip there. And then you want to lock it again. So I'm going to add a little bit here. I'm playing with light. Charlotte likes to call herself a light thief that she's stolen light. I'm going to put a little bit on the, look at how this makes my lips look super cool. Cause you see the little bit of the lipstick pass there and it just gives you that really pursed lip. Are we loving this? You guys are so quiet in the chat. Let me know if we're liking this mermaid look. And this could really be anything. I mean, if you want to go, if this is a disco girl look, is this a mermaid look? Is this a cyber girl look? You could be whatever you want, a sexy bug. I don't know, whatever you'd like. I'm going to put a little bit also on the highest arch of my brow. I really love that little line in my crease there. Let's put a little bit on the arch of my brow. I want to put a little bit here too. Why not? Let's blend this. And you thought I was done with this cheek? No. I'm a big fan of layering and also long wear. Um, this, ah, you did not miss much. Don't worry. I have used Pink Gasm Blush in the wand and also Spotlight. So that's what's on my cheek right now. But I want to, again, more color, more shine. So I'm going to be using Charlotte's, thank you, Nadine, her brand new Hollywood Blush and Glow Palette. This is in the shade Fair Medium. It also comes in a medium deep. And I'm going to be applying this with my powder and sculpt brush. No, I'm going to use my brush, bronzer and blush brush. So I like that I already have this pink, but I really want to turn it up. So I'm going to just layer this. Why not? just for some more color, but also to set this. So it's totally okay to mix liquids with powders for long wear that you don't have to touch up throughout the night. And now to give me a little bit more shine, I'm gonna use the highlight here and I'm gonna sit this right on top. I really wanna look like a Christmas ornament, a little holiday gift, most importantly, I want to look like a mermaid. All right, what am I missing? So now that I have the look, it's packed on. I want to make sure it's not coming off. So I'm going to use Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray for 16-hour wear. I'm going to douse myself. Feels like I'm under the sea with all of the other mermaids. I've got that hydration. I've got that glow. I've got that shimmer. I feel like I want to add a little more pop of the beauty verse. Let's add a little bit of this to the inside corner again. And I love that there's actually a little bit of moisture on my skin from the setting spray. Because like I said earlier, you can use this palette um, wet or dry. And so since my skin's a little wet right now, I'm getting so much more color payoff. And actually, I'm going to go in with a little blender brush. And again, I want to dip it into that digital lilac. And let's just go ahead and paint the top of my skin with a little bit of this lavender sparkle. Isn't that pretty? Let's do it a little bit more. You can really see it there. Love this look. Okay, so I always like to end these classes with if I was stranded on a deserted island because I'm a mermaid and maybe I'm lost from my home in the sea somehow, what products would I take home with me? Number one, the Beauty Verse palette from Charlotte Tilbury, limited edition holiday packaging. Get it while we have it. Once it's gone, it is gone forever. I have some fans here in the chat that have tried this. They love it themselves. The proof is in the pudding. Get your hands on this. You can use it wet or dry. 
some matte shades, some frost shades, some sparkly shades to create a really gorgeous look, whether it's for Halloween, for your holiday parties coming up, or for every day. So that's number one. Number two, I'm going to definitely pick the Beauty Light Wands. I love Pink Gasm. I also love Spotlight for that extra megawatt shine that can be seen from the sun. I'm making the sun jealous with all this glow. So those are going to be, I'm going to sort of bulk them together. So that's my number two option. <sighs> Last but not least, I'm probably going to have to say Hollywood Flawless Filter. I feel like for mermaid skin, you want that wet, dewy glow that doesn't have glitter, does not have frost, that literally looks like glass. Hollywood Flawless Filter, 12 different shades. I use shade 4.5. There are shades for absolutely everybody, and you can wear it so many different ways. If you have any questions, if you want more tips and tricks, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Rashina Green Artistry. You'll see it at the bottom here. Feel free to DM me, ask me any questions. I hope you guys have an amazing Halloween season. Make sure that you're clicking all of those links that Richard provided at Charlotte Tilbury Beauty. You can shop these products now and even after this show when this video is archived. Have an amazing and most importantly, safe Halloween season. Enjoy the holidays with your loved ones and we'll see you next time. Thank you, everybody. This is the look.